Yeah, man. I'm excited to dig on this new book, <laughs> even though it's not new for us at all. But the first time I'm approaching it from cover to cover like it's a new book. You might have heard of it, Forbidden Histories of America. You know, I tried to do a lot of feature on YouTube. Man, they snatched every video down. Just from reading sections, they said copyright infringements. So, we're chilling at 432 to drop radio. And we're going to be reading cover to cover, man. Love to uh, Daniel Lowe. Did a lot of great correlation. It's time for us to approach it. Uh, with a dragon flit eye perspective and do it again like it's the first time get your PDF get your PDF download it for free in our drop library if you got the ether path you already got it <laughs> and it's on your ether path uh, you know go into the drop library pull it up Now, just reading a little bit of the forward of this, it says the Forbidden Histories of America is like a giant jigsaw puzzle that you can't stop working on. Once you can't, once you can't wait to finish, one you can't wait to finish, so you will finally know what the picture will be. Dan has found clues scattered throughout history, archaeology, geology, anthropology, and religion, then fit them together into such a compelling theory. One has a difficult time arguing against it so we're taking some of his theory some of his jigsaw puzzle and we're putting it into our own major you know um, investigation our own puzzle we're putting together and seeing which pieces of his investigation fit over here and we found an astounding amount of connectivity uh, between what we're investigating separate from even finding this particular thing so this ain't no, oh, you found this, and therefore you know this. Nah, we we only started searching for, uh, we only found this document because we were searching for certain, you know, el you know, evidence or validation in our investigation. So, hello, why we popping off? So, let's go, go right in. You know, a quick chapter look so we know what to expect. Chapter 1 is about the ancient cultures of America. Chapter 2 is the clovis Solotrian connection. Chapter 3 is the Chinampas and the Aztec floating garden. Chapter 4 is about Lake Kapala. Very important, eh? <laughs> chapter 5 is called the Lady of Elki. Elchi. Important as well. Chapter 6 is called The Lead Crosses of Tucson. That's where we started connecting the Kalalus artifacts. Chapter 7 is called The Legendary and Mythical Cities and the Kalakakra, Kalakakra Mandala. Okay, we're getting into some of the Hindu flow around this day. Chapter 8, Who Was Buddha? Chapter 9, What's in the Words? Chapter 10, The Pomegranate in the City of Montezuma. Oh, we must be talking Ramani. Chapter 11, The Seal of Solomon. Chapter 12, The Nine Commandments. And the Lost Lunas Decade Log Stone, which helped us, you know, to connect our nine code. And, you know, this gave us the evidence that we needed to stand on it and see clearly that those first two commandments are really just one 
big commandment. <laughs> no power before your power. No graven images. Don't worship. All that is about putting no power before your power and not worshiping anything but your creator. That's one transgression before you go into, you know, vanity and stealing and killing. You know, those are all separate transgressions. So no power before your power. No graven images. That's one. And that's how you get the nine code. Chapter 13, Puerto Rico or Pureco River. <laughs> Pureco River, Ark of the Covenant. Chapter 14, the Ark of the Covenant among the Aztec. Chapter 15, Clamshell of Fredonia. Chapter 16, the Key Glyph. Very important as well. Chapter 17, the Narrative of Tus Tuscoro. Compiler's Notes, Chapter 18, Artifact Jeopardy, Manifest Destiny, and Chapter 19, Misplaced and Misunderstood Artifacts, The Michigan Collection, The Michigan Tablets, Michigan Copper Artifacts, The Michigan Stone Artifacts. We got to dig on what's happening in Mexico. Ka. Ka. Chapter 20, The Mississippi Valley Mound Builders, and the Appendum or addendum for Nephite North, which we actually started in the ether as well. You know, we, we did a lot of Nephite North over here, but we're going to get back in it as we are coming into a brand new series called Mormons Digging Deeper. Yeah, man, we're going to dig on this Mormon history and, you know, what they know and don't know or whatever. You know, we're just going to go into it. So let's get it at chapter one. We're reading it from cover to cover. I always wanted to do this feels like a brand new book man uh, the forbidden histories of america by daniel Lowe, chapter one the ancient cultures of the americas what is anasazi a fremont a pueblo what is the iberian culture clovis people Salutrian people, Adena culture, or Hope Well. Well, you can pick up just about any publication related to the archaeologist, archaeologist, archaeologist <laughs> field, or go to your favorite related wiki duty or ditty, <laughs> and you can read what the world has been taught to believe and see the indoctrinate photos, which are lasting impressions upon the mind. The indoctrination process is not just in our so-called education system. It is in the very images that are presented in describing those things which have been given to educate the public, as you will see in the following photos, and to subjugate by educating you to the point of no original thought other than, hey, what does Wiki have to say? <laughs> which is the same as, let's see what the popular opinion is and go with it we all have the images in our heads as to how the native american indian has been portrayed for well over a hundred years but the images are often portrayed as savage often half naked if not naked all for the purpose of instilling into your mind barbarianism and although in many ways many tribes scattered about were indeed in a state of decline compared to their not so distant past. I personally do not think they were presented to the world with a fair view. Well, were you? <laughs> well, are we? See, that's our main uh, dispute, you know, with the perspective of this author. Is that he wants to fit his people into the story. We are putting our puzzle together. And we see that we are the Native American Indian. <laughs> you don't get no more native than nature. You don't get no more natural than these original copper color cons around here. You don't get no more natural on this earth plane. So you're going to have to give it up one way or the other. You're going to have to respect and honor one way or the other. And we taking it back. We ain't waiting for you to respect us. We taking it back. I do this for all the Nagas all across the plane. Don't ever get it twisted. Yeah, we, we love everybody. We believe in everybody. 
and yeah, everyone can can you know code up and keep the code. Everyone can walk into this reality of Hawaii's, but there's no place like home, and you'll never uh, skate over or jump over one important fact of who the original Naga is on this earth plane and what Nagaville is all about. Nagaville is about letting these Negroes, these so-called Negroes around here know that this is their land. Everywhere their feet touch, they are original to that. Not just this land, but we're talking all the lands across the planet. You're originals. You're the originals. You're not from one place. Africa, it is. Just America, that. you you from all over this plane, man. Born and birthed. Kingdoms upon kingdoms upon kingdoms. You the kings, you the queens. You the Preston. Look in the mirror. It looks just like you, my knight. You're an original tribe with an original virtue. With an original code that everybody wants to mimic and, you know, copy your style. But when you get in code, they also want to copy that style. And suddenly keeping the code is in style. Suddenly being a code keeper is what's up. It's what's happening. Spiraling up is what it's all about. So, hey, how to my code keepers. So, when we talk Jewish, uh, Romans, you know, all these things, put yourself, you know, imagine yourself. You're not the Jewish, you're Judah. You're not the Roman, you're the Remani. And Reman means pomegranate in Ibaru. What's this pomegranate Montezuma flow about? What's the pomegranate Joshua flow about? Caleb flow. What's the promised land about? Who's trying to title up around you to steal your title of the promised land? The Roman? They just want that pomegranate flow. They just want your flow, my naga. Let's go. I don't think they were presented to the world with a fair view, these nagas. The most ancient of this land is called the Anasazi and is portrayed as in this example of the following image, which is a very, which is in a small way true, but to me is just a typical Native American Indian image. And it's showing you some very typical looking Native American Indian images that we've been given. And then we tell our brothers and sisters today, yo, <laughs> Hey, that ain't us. Where's the picture of us? And those that look like them get offended and say, hey, whoa. You trying to say I'm not real? Here's my genealogies. <laughs> nah, man, you ain't the original. This is what we say. That's not Afrocentric. I'm talking original to the earth. That's a very important point because these same originals all this time we're told that they weren't nothing. That this ain't their land. So when they start claiming it again, they don't, they're not trying to pick a fight with you. They're claiming it because they're claiming the truth. And either you're going to rock with the truth or you're getting washed up in the wave, man. Don't play with mama like that. We're talking virtue. We're talking reality. And these images are not reality of these Native American Indians all over the place. These images are not reality of the Anasazi images he's putting in his book. But he already told us that. Let's go. Then he says the following images will be a more accurate representative of the Anasazi aside from dress, which would have been lighter due to warmer climate. And he's going to proceed to give some more images that look just like the other images so you still don't see yourself represented over here my naga so we got to take it back they were a very large people with an average height of nine feet wow i mean even in the giants of thoth situation <laughs> love to dizzle fitty with that navigator book we reading with the flat drop the giants they say were like eight feet so 
what they call us giants, man, you know? <laughs> Let's go. None of the images are real that they're giving us of the Mongol, <laughs> the ancient Chinese, Japanese, the natives. They don't want you to know that you are all these people and that they work together to, you know, humble us down to being a people with no identity. The people with all the identities now have no identity. Ain't that inverted? Ain't that the matrix? You claim yourself, you claiming all this, but it's so much to claim that you feel crazy claiming all this stuff. I'm the original Chinese and Japanese. I'm the original American. I'm the original, you know, uh, you know, Asian, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever, like, I'm the original. So then who are they? That ain't, you know, that shouldn't hurt nobody's feelings. <laughs> but who are you claiming to be me? Oh, you just going to scoot over and let me rock? Oh, yeah, you come over here too. You're native too. We're both native. I'm of the Sioux tribe, and you're of the... Like, stop it, man. Is you the original Sioux? Is you the original, you know what I mean, a Hopi? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, like, you got to have to... Everyone got to have to back back. This this awakening is for everybody, including the so-called natives. Everybody's going to have to wake up. Everybody's going to have to get, you know, a, a dose of humble pie, a dose of reality. Everybody's going to have to love truth now. And the truth is, these people you told was nobodies <laughs> are everything and everybody. You got to look yourself in the mirror and say, who am I? Did we hijack titles? Did my family, you know, get paid, get some type of transportation? Did, did they get some type of land to hijack our title? Are they getting casinos to this day? To hijack our title. Are we getting welfare? <laughs> they getting broke off through this Geneva Convention and all this stuff where they getting broke off, man. Because they put their bows down. Cause cause we put cause we ain't hostile no more according to the Geneva Convention. As long as we ain't hostile, you know, we're you know, being given all these things. But in the black culture, they turn it into welfare or whatever, even though more so-called whites are on welfare than so-called blacks, you know, but it's a black thing for them to give black people anything. Now you're talking, uh, you know, reparation. Nah, man, according to the, Gene the Geneva Code, they're supposed to be breaking off you Indians for putting down your weapons and, you know what I'm saying? Surrendering and all that, you're supposed to be getting paid. Just like they popping off with casinos, that's supposed to be you. But somebody else can claim to be you and get broken off. <laughs> and you get, what, welfare? Nah, they got to do something for you because you the Indian that put down their bows, right? According to the Geneva Code. But you got to read the Geneva Code. You're supposed to be getting all the things that a, a high and mighty so-called white will get because you put down your bows. You're supposed to be getting hooked up, hooked up so that you start warring against them. Now you just, just think you're a slave, you know. Now we got no identity. So you're going to see how all this ties together, which is why we got to dig on the Mormon. We got to dig deeper on that because this is going to play. The Aztec, obviously, the indigenous flow is going to play. Man, even the Prest is going to play. When we talk about Calais and Sylvanus to Texas, right? So, let's go. So, according to the Aztec record in the Book of Mormon, these people arrived on the continent 2400 B.C., being the most ancient of Americans as there is no original. Stop it. Stop it. How, how in the world 
can you ever say that the original people don't exist? That's the most hijacked thing of all things that a hijack can ever. Oh, there is no original people. We're all migrators. <laughs> We're all visitors here. How is there no original people on the land Hawa creates and has all these history? <laughs> but there's no original. By them saying that, they say no one has an original claim. Then why would Hawa divide the lands, Managa? <laughs> and put the people where the people should be and say, hey, you keep going. This is the land for you and your descendants forever. They want to look at it as, well, yeah, you know, but you still migrated at some point. You only migrated to get to where you have been validated for. You know, a land that the creator gives you is a land that was created for you. I don't care how many hijacks want to walk on that land. That land was created for you. So it's original in the eyes and the mind of Hawa, the creator. When Hawa is creating a specific land for a specific tribe, you are the originals based on the plan. You're the originals based on the vision. They want to say, well, we, we, we hijacked this before you came from this and this. <laughs> oh, there was people. There was always people here, man. There was always people here. So, you know, <laughs> we already dodging hijacks. You know, I, I'm getting it from the top. I didn't know all this hijack was there. <laughs> my bad, my bad. But he said, this most ancient land of Americas, there is no original. So it's a free-for-all. We know we all just can go anywhere we want. Managa, it's original to Hawa. It's original to the creator that has designed and designated an original place for you. A promised land for you. That is your, that's your land. That's your land by birthright. You know what I'm saying? That's as original as it gets. So no matter how much time... <laughs> Whoever took to migrate from Abraham to, to Jacob to this, they're getting to their original point. They're getting to their original designation, their original validation, where they're supposed to be. That land is for them, for their descendants forever. Can't no one else have claim over the creator's claim and the creator's vision. And that's what we say. <laughs> we the originals. And that doesn't mean Shem's not over here and Ham's not over here and j -Pip's not over here. But these people that I just named are all original people. <laughs> it's not, oh, this race looks like that and that race looks like that. Come on, man. This is a family, a tribe. They don't have all these super distinct phenotypes, man. They look like each other. They are originals. Shem, Ham, j -Pip. These are original people. So wherever j -Pet's land is, the true j -Pet are lands of the originals. They are Nagas and Nagaville. The true Hamites are Nagas and Nagaville. They are our brothers. They are our family. We don't have no beef with no Hamites. <laughs> we don't have no beef with no Shemites. We don't have no beef with no j -Pethites. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got to be with any individual tribe within that that's working together as some type of collaboration, as some type of confederacy against the chosen ones because you want our land, because you want our original land. Yeah, we got beef with you, you know, thinking that you could just run a play and think that you got a claim here. You forget that you're in the kingdom. I got claim on this land. You're in the kingdom, man. You're in the kingdom, buddy. You don't have no claim here unless, you know, you are part of that, you know, royal family or paying tribute, man. So that's a kingdom. Wakey, wakey. You're in the American kingdom. The Preston's kingdom. 
They don't care about what you say and your ancestors passed through here. He would say, well, did I allow them to pay tribute or were they just hijacks? If they weren't allowed to pay tribute, they probably some hijacks. <laughs> were they for the code or were they against the code? Are the originals here? No. Now that that's clear, let's continue. This original thing needs to be, you know, truly clear. You know what I mean? It's got to be the clearest. You know, we all got to have the same original picture. If you can't see that, it's just because either you're a hijack or you're in the mind of a hijack where you can't see originality, just like this author. America, there was no original. He can't see originality. He's too busy trying to paint himself on our images. He's too busy trying to put his story within our story. So it's very convenient for non-originals to overlook originality because being original works against them. They don't like the word original because they can't claim it. So they hate it. They hate original things. They want everything to be hybrid. What do you think this, you know, these jabronis in charge today, they want everything to be hybrid. No original foods, no original nothing, nothing original. They're against originality. And a lot of these so-called races are against the originals. Because no matter how hard they try, they can't be us. They don't understand what we are connected with. They don't understand our connection. They just copy, 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 copy and paste, copy and paste. Everything about them is a copy. Everything they're doing is a duplication. Where's the originality? It all comes back to us. It all comes back to these Nagas. But you don't want to pay tribute. You don't want to pay, you know, true honor. Without the covenants in your heart. So they keep the originals fighting against each other. Bloods, Crips, this, this, that, this. GD, BD, boo, boo, boo. The originals fighting against each other in every hood. Because if these originals wake up and wise up and tribe up, then they have a very original problem. Oh, boy. I mean, everyone, you know, wants to... You know, be about this. We are the world, you know. <laughs> Everyone come together, you know, and just blot over the original becoming themselves again. Original coming back online again. Coming back to life again. You want to we are the world so you can save yourself and blot yourself within this original magic. Because you know we, you know we popping off, but you don't want to give us the space, time, and the opportunity to truly tribe up and be original. We're talking frequency, my life. The first thing about being original is about the code you're keeping, not what you can prove in your family and your DNA and all this stuff like that. To be an original means you're on an original code, an original frequency. And when you're back in that, and yeah, you know, it don't matter if your eyes look this and your hair looks that and your skin looks that. You're back into original frequency, you know what I'm saying? It's only a matter of time between, you know, you truly become that original Naga again, you know what I'm saying? And because you don't have this phenotype, it doesn't mean no shame on you. <laughs> you know, it's not just about looking this and looking that either, you know. It's just about allowing who you know are these so-called niggas in the hood, <laughs> who you know are these niggas that have been, you know, absolutely, you know, vanquished on. Help these niggas out, man. I got to say it like this so that we know who we're talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, everyone, you know, wants to flirt with all these titles. You know, we say we're the con, you want to be the con. We say we niggas, you want to be niggas. <laughs> but help these niggas out. You know what I'm saying? We do it for these niggas. You know what I'm saying? We do it for those that have been disenfranchised. Land's been stolen. Yeah, something's happened to you too, but we're doing it for us, man. And where you fit in with us, man, who knows, man? But we're doing it for us. This whole 432 is about doing it 
for the originals, doing it for these niggas, you know what I'm saying, doing it for these so-called Negroes, these so-called african American. If you never called yourself an African-American, but you want to call yourself a con, then you see where the issue is. When, I, when I'm talking about these cons, I'm specifically talking about my tribe, specifically talking about these so-called disenfranchised African-Americans, so-called black people who everything's been taken from, stolen from, and, you know, copied and duplicated from. We have to speak for ourselves. We need something for us. You know what I'm saying? Understanding that our war is against our own people. We know that's a family war. That ain't for you to come in and mock. You don't try to come in and, and, and come with the chip on your shoulder because you know a little bit about the drop. We have a family history to work out. You don't fit nowhere in this picture just because you got the drop. It's a family war going on. Now, if you're going to help the originals, then help them with the truth, help them pop off, and let that be you know, your honor. You have honor in helping these original Nagas, niggas, in the hood near you, project near you. We popping off, man. I'm doing it for us. That's my, you know, these are my target audience. You know what I'm saying? That's who I'm targeting with every drop. That's the audience I'm targeting, man. I ain't targeting no one else. But if you find something applicable to you, all praise of what? If you find a reason to continue and a purpose within your life, all praise the why. I got to take my time with this, man. Because our people don't have nothing. And everybody always want to blend in to our people and say that they're us. And, and now they're us. And our land is now their land. And, and we're all the same. Man, stop it, man. You weren't the same when we had them whips on our backbone, man. You weren't the same when we got rolled up on. Trying to blend it with us. Oh, I got some, some Naga blood in me. <laughs> man, stop it, man. <laughs> now you want Naga blood. When it's convenient. You want the stripes. But you ain't walked the path. You want them tiger stripes, but you ain't walked the tiger path, man. So I love my people. You know, I love everybody, man, that's popping off. But I really, really love my people, man. Somebody got to. I can't skip over loving my people to make you happy. I do this for my people. Man. And everybody that love my people, I do it for you too. You know what I'm saying? And within our people, within this so-called black population, there are multiple tribes. And some of these are tribes of Jacob. You know, that it would be connected with the script right on. Tribes that Joshua was leading. You know, like the Aztec, Hawashua. Some of these are... You know, those type of originals. Others are, you know, Moabite type of originals, you know, Ammonite type of original. You know, some of them are Ishmaelite type of originals. We're from different tribes. We look the same. This ain't no super separate phenotype situation. Some tribes did, you know, migrate this way, mix in with this and this, or practice that and practice this, yada, yada, yada. But overall, these originals still look the same, same complexions, same copper color, same copper color, same spirally hair, same thing, my not? Overall. And within that, we have all these tribes, right? And they want America now to have no original, to be some melting pot with no originality, with no Queen Khalifa. Nagaville can't be Nagaville. These Negroes, these niggas don't have no homeland. And if they do have a homeland, you must be a part of it because you got nowhere else to go. Because you need to cleave to the house of Israel. If you must cleave. Because, you know, it's only the wave. I guess you must cleave. Then cleave with a purpose, man. Cleave with the Ahab for the originals in your heart, bone. These original Nagas is your only hope. <laughs> These original Nagas is your only, you know what I'm saying, wall of protection. Because when they charge up, when we charge up, the whole world benefits. When we charge down, when we get hijacked, 
the whole world is in chaos. And you might have felt you thought it was good for us to fall. Now you see what it's like when we don't know who we are. You want this to continue? Because you'll never have the drop if we don't have the drop. All right. So if you ain't no hijack, but you, you're you also not, you know, connected to true original Naga hood, you know, and you just want to charge us up in a, in a, in a Yapa way, then my Naga, that's where we start right here. With the humility that on this land, you have the head and you have the tail. Hawa has order, just like the Mongo horde, Mongo orders, whatever order, Hawa has order. <laughs> and at the root of the tree, at the very root, you have the house of Judah. And the scepter will never depart from Yahudah. King David. Somebody got to hold it down for the original. You know what I'm saying? The precedent don't just give the function, you know, to anybody. You have to be in code. You have to be in the original code. And you have to love those that are in it. Because that's your only hope, you know, <laughs> for your collective saving. You know what I'm saying? You want to be saved, well... <laughs> You're going to have to help these Nagas collect themselves and come directly to Hawa. Rule number one, put no power before our power. You help a Naga do that, then no longer do we have the forbidden histories of America. <laughs> My Naga, we got the promised land. No matter what you look like, you want to be part of that promised land. We got to come to the truth and reality of who runs the promised land. Of who runs this kingdom. Stop putting your face on our images. Knowing that we are original. Stop trying to be us. And helping us. You know what I'm saying. That helps us much more than you trying to be like us. Is you truly helping us. You know in our awareness. Helping us as we transition. And keep this cold. And build. And build for Nagaville. Build Joy World. That's how you help, man. That's how you help us come together. And we give you nothing but a like the creator do. Nothing but a for you, no matter who you are. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it's all about. But this is tribal. <laughs> this is tribal radio. <laughs> this is the tribal flow. So you're going to get it through the tribe's eyes. You're not going to get it through some type of Milton Potts, no original eye. You're going to get it through the original Naga eye. Our lens, our viewpoint, our vision. I mean, either you're over here because you see the vision or you're over here because you want to witness the vision. If you're going to witness, be a witness with no covetous in your heart. And if you see the vision, my naga, then let's pop off. The Mormons will call them Jaredites. They are the people responsible for the DNA haplogroups found abundant in South America, Central, Northwest America with the Inuit and Aleut of Alaska. So shake all their DNA hogwash. You know, they're just trying to connect all these other, you know, uh, people groups, you know what I'm saying, to your originality. The Inuit, the Eskimos, and their DNA connected with the modern uh, so-called uh, Native Americans, and you know all their everyone. This is how they're connected. Everyone who's taking our images, everyone who's taking our titles, they get to connect with the DNA super circuit of haplogroups. And no one's talking about where your father, <laughs> who your father is. They, they want to care about the haplogroups, but not the DNA of whose seed are you. You can't plant the seed of an apple and get a tomato, man. 
It's about the seed. You can't plant seed of a grapefruit and get a watermelon. The soil is equally important because it won't grow without it. Ahab to the Amaz, you know. That's the vortex. We got to grow. I'm talking about that ether. <laughs> but without the proper seed, you don't have no tree at all. And you don't have a specific tree. You want a Douglas fir tree, you want a pine tree. Which one you want? You want a cedar tree? Then you need a cedar seed. Now all the trees can come together <laughs> and say, we're, let's be one. We're the forest. I get you. But that don't mean that you stop the cedar tree from being the cedar tree. And that's all we say <laughs> as original. <laughs> Let these copper color cons come back online. Come back to life. Help us build. Help us be safe. You know what I'm saying? Help us have a wall of protection. And help each other, my nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Help each other. Don't wait for nobody to help you. We doing it for ourselves. And you see what we do. But a cedar tree, the house of Judah, got to be the house of Judah. The pine tree, got to be the pine tree. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Simeon can't say, yeah, let's be, let's be Israelites, Judah, but you're not going to help Judah be Judah. So it's not important for Judah to be Judah no more as long as he's Israel. It seems like you're trying to hijack Judah because you should let Judah pop off. <laughs> and if you're outside of the house of Israel, then what? We can't come together like Voltron, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel. And you saying, oh, okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we all need to come together under the Moorish banner. <laughs> Can you help Israel? Because you sure did hurt Israel. Can you help Israel come back together? Know their true selves, their true history? Or should we forget our tribal energy and just be Moors? Are you all Moabites? Are you all Ammonites? Are you all uh, Canaanites? Are you all these things? Are you just one big super team, confederacy of tribes? But our tribe's not represented. You see, I'm throwing these examples so you see from our perspective, you know, as so-called black people, don't just be about, uh, yeah, Join up with the Asian people and the white people. You know, I'm using these race analogies, you know. <coughs> you can't just say join up, join up. We are the world without helping these so-called black people get themselves back to where they were at. And even better. And within the blackness of things as a tribe, you know what I'm saying? You can't say let's all be black and not help these tribes of so-called blacks. Within the black race, there's all these copper-colored tribes, right? So we've been in tribal war against each other. You know, if you've done anything to harm or hurt those that are raising up in this frequency with the creator directly, it's up to you how you want to proceed. You want to fall back like you ain't done nothing? You want to fall back like, you know, it's cool to let these niggas just, you know, uh, be on some demon time, be on some negative frequency you just want to see us negative frequency it up you just want to see us be negative all day or you want to see the world shape into the perfect pattern called paradise because energy shapes and we do have a shape which one you want to do but this tribe got to be a tribe again and yeah we might have to exclude you to do it then we can include you once we're ready to do something bigger, right? Or do something else if we need you to do it with. Depends on your energy, your frequency, and your vibration. Because we don't need you. But the natural by law, we don't need no help. Keep that bull shit to yourself. Hey, man. Sign of leave a trail of dog shit behind them, man. We just tired of smelling it. So you can keep all that to yourself. We don't need your help. You want to come in a great frequency. Perhaps we can use it. You know what I mean? But without that, we just don't need it. We believe in our creator. We believe in the vibe. You know, I'm speaking this from the heart bone. So everyone knows 
where we are and what we're about. Drop Nation, we do it for the Naga, we do it for Nagaville. Not the Nagas all call themselves Nagas, but the original Nagas that are still visible in every hood near you. Not for the ones that made it out, that ain't turning around and help their people. We're, we're, we're rising up with our Nagas, with our people. And we could work with everybody. We could work with all so-called races, but you're not going to disenfranchise us or discredit us anymore as original people. You're going to say, hey, I got love for you. I got love for your people. Without us, without you, there'll be no us. We're not saying to you, without you, there'll be no us, because that's not true. Without you, there'll still be us, because we original. But without us, there'll be no you. And you want to skate over that and skip over that? No boss, man. No more, man. You can't genealogy. You can't genealogy. You could genealogy your way to figure out some of your family tree, my nigga. But that's not going to give you validity and no kingdom, no legitimacy, or no birthright where your birthright ain't at. Your DNA ain't going to give you no birthright, man. Get out of that stuff. Yeah, it's fun, cool, you connected some things. <laughs> but leave it leave it at that. Don't bring it into no reality. They talking DNA haplogroups found abundant in South America, Central, Northwest America with the Inuit and Aleut, A-L-E-U-T, and of Alaska and Canadian tribes or related, being the most pure of the original, but whoa, original bloodline. You just said, most ancient of Americas as there is no original. Now we got a pure original bloodline connected with the Eskimo. Connected with the Eskimo. So the Eskimo, <laughs> just Google Eskimo and you see what that come up. And that's what you're, that's who they're saying are the original bloodline. So this is what he wants. This is what this author wants. He's all throughout South America, Central Northwest America, knowing the original people of that land don't look like no damn Eskimos. For the dismount, man. Before I go crazy. The Pueblo culture is named by the Spanish meaning town people, those who built houses, and one of the many images which is used to depict these people may as well be the same photos used to identify or instill in your mind once again the typical Native American Indian. Now in later times, meanings, meaning in the times of the Spaniard, this would not be too far from reality as the people may have been occupying the many towns or cities where now a mixed people and very well may have looked like those in the following image. You know, some more of the same, you know, same situations. You know what I mean? <coughs> so he's talking about you know, people really being represented in images, but then he will take that still into a misrepresentation because he doesn't want to come home to what the original looks like or what the original is. To them, we're just from Africa. We're just Africans from Africa. That's the origin of blackness, and that's where we go. So the whole world is up for grabs. They can have this Asia, that Asia, uh, this America, that America. They can have all these areas. Because we just got Africa. And we got no offense to Monogas original to Africa, but we're original here. Our place of origin, our place of refuge, our motherland, Monogas, is in the same spots he's picking out South America, North America. All these spots is motherland to us, connected with. Moo original lands. The original people of Moo look like you. We're talking about more lands beyond the pole, man. For the dismount. I do it for my original Nagas. You know, and anybody else who's in cold and wants to flow, I don't discriminate. I flow with you, man. Because I believe that you're in it for original Nagas. The minute I feel that you just are covenant the original Naga and just parasiting your way over here and cleaving just to cleave without giving that true Ahab and honor to the fact that without these original Nagas, you don't exist. 
you just don't exist, man. Just like them, just like the typical so-called white folk. That's their whole, you know, that's the nature of their covenants. That without you, real noggers, they can't exist. There ain't no white heaven without originality, man. You don't get to skip over the original oregano flow and pop off some white heaven that has nothing to do with originality. Even in that white heaven, I guess you, I guarantee you would have stolen every single thing in that motherfucker. <laughs> but we can have a whole heaven without you because that's very plausible. That's, that's very likely. We've had thousands of years without you. Scientifically speaking. But a, America can't look like a, <laughs> you see the hypocrisy. It's, it's, it's asinine. You know, it's, it's pure covetous wickedness to try to originate originality, to try to f squeeze your way into a picture. We see that hijacked a mile away. Either you for us or you're fighting against us, trying to push us further away so you can claim, hey, look at my genealogies. I'm from here, but you, <laughs> you're from somewhere else. Cities of gold, my naga. Cities of gold. California gold rush. Gold, gold, gold. Everybody wants this place. Everybody wants the magic, but they can't walk in the Magi's shoes. That's why none of these other folk brought you an original investigation. None of them brought you, you know, right through the code, right through that Torah, right into the Preston flow, right into Hosea 3 and 5. That came from original Nagas. The investigation we're on, the balance, the flow that we got, the orientation we flow with, is coming from original Nagas. And we search around for any of the drop that we can include in our investigation, but it's an original investigation and it's published. And the proof is already foundational. We ain't in no loop. We're spiraling up. That's originality. They loop around us until they find the next thing to loop around. We continue to spiral up. We can just talk like this and have a real conversation. I barely done no reading, man. I just been talking on your earbone all night, man. Because I love y'all, man. I'm doing this right here for you at 432 to Drop Radio. And at 432 to Drop Radio, only you get that original oregano flow this is a place you can call home without a bunch of other you know uh, Milton Potism. people trying to take who you are away you don't get that here this is for you this is your house this is Nagaville home of the Nagas Home of the Negroes, home of the niggas. Home of the American, uh, true America. So-called African America. <laughs> home of the so-called Negro. 432 The Dry Radio is for you. Copper Color Cons is for you. It's a gift for you. Hawa gave us this wave to surf. And whoever want to surf with is cool. But come in order and not in chaos. Leave the covenants at the door. These Nagas have been stepped on long enough. Don't come over here with your boots on, man. Get out the way and witness if you got to. Sometimes you just got to witness it. You ain't ready to surf the wave. You got to witness it, then fall back and be a witness. Because we all got to be witnesses. We all got to be witnesses of each other. We're going to witness each other pop off, man. Witness each other spiral up and choose up and try above. We are witnesses.
we'll get out of here on this right here depending on the time frame one is referring to the pueblo people may be one of the few cultures who came to this land but most likely a mixture of them the first in which likely made up what was considered as the pueblo is of jewish or hebrew descent you see why i spent all that time connecting you with originality because these people are talking in circles, man. If you don't know you the Ibaru and the Indian, you wouldn't put this together. Because you wouldn't connect with that word Jewish and you wouldn't connect with the word Pueblo or really first people. He said the first in which likely made up what is considered as Pueblo or first people or originals, my naga, is of Hebrew, do, Hebrew descent. Do you hear me? Now, Hebrew ain't just referring to, you know, uh, some new philosophy. These are the people of the crossing. The cross is the Tau. The last letter of the Hebrew is the mark, the sign, the covenant. These are the people of the covenant. And this covenant existed before the days of Peleg when the earth was divided. Before Atlantis fell, the code existed. So these people that are in this code that they're calling Jewish or Hebrew... They're not some new group uh, under, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel. You know what I'm saying? These are the original people of the mark, the sign, the covenant from the lands before the sinking and dividing of the lands. This was a continuation into the Moshe flow. It's a continuation into the Joshua and the David flow. And now it's continuing with you, my naga, you the function, you the continuation. You know, we could start our tribe today, but it don't... Just, just because Hawa forms drop nation, that don't mean that that same energy that drop nations in didn't exist with the Israelites or didn't exist with these, you know what I'm saying, um, Pueblos or people before that. Press the John, Melchizedek. Melchizedek is who got Abraham in code with the circumcision. Huh? So, talking about ancient frequencies, man. So these Ibaru represent ancient frequency not just 12 tribes of Israel this code that existed that later got passed through Moshe through Joshua these code keepers it's not some new thing it's, it's a frequency the code is a frequency you keep the code you up your frequency you raise your vibration the vibration you attain is the code is mama is Torah ain't nothing new about that Ain't no new tribe of that. Whether you change the title from, you know, Israelite to such and such today or, you know, what, it don't matter. We're talking about code keepers. We're talking about the cons. And again, the con simply means priest or priesthood. The con ain't. The copper cons are the priests of Hawa that have this copper melanin tone. <laughs> they got the world within them the world of potential all the potential but ain't nothing worse to mama and daddy than wasted potential they give you all these gifts and you just throw them away that's a slap in the face but Daniel Lowe is at least telling us right the original people or the Pueblo is of Jewish descent or Hebrew as they arrived in several groups at different places here in America. Mormons call them Nephites. So when you run into these Mormons and you say, I am the Hebrew, the original in America, you will be called the Nephite to them or Lamanite, Lamanites. Titles, titles. So whether you call them Israelites, Nephites, Lamanites, they're all Hebrews, right? They're all Eberus. We're talking about 
Quivera or Kiver or Kieber or Heber or Eber, Eberia, Iberia, Eber, Eber, my nugget, Hebrew. Yeah. So they're of Hebrew descent, these Pueblos. Hebrew descent. Mormons call them Nephites or Lamanites or Lamanites. Nephites or Lamanites. These people arrived on this continent around 600 BC, dodged the hijack. One landed on our east coast at the Del Marva Peninsula and are the people responsible for the Clovis arrowheads and are the Clovis people thought to be the first Americans. Back to the original. Some have asked, why do we not see the remains of the Anasazi? Uh, because they've switched images. So you're not looking for the remains of these Nagas. <laughs> you switched their image up. You're looking for some haplogroup now. Their weaponry, to some degree, was done by flinting, naping, flint naping. But the majority of their copper and bronze weapons at the time they destroyed themselves as a people in brutal wars has long since decayed and returned to Mother Earth. But they're pulling out swords in Arizona to this day. Keep in mind these battles according to the Mormon book and the Aztec record occurred nearly 600 B.C. The following image, if one is to instill in the minds of the people as to what they may have looked like, will be, in my opinion, more accurate than what is commonly believed today. These people also, those who science calls Adena, A-D-E-N-A, and later the Hope Well culture, also known as the Mound Builders, of the Mississippi Valley. And he put a picture up with some typical looking Native Americans, of course. So he keeps saying these are just, you know, we got to get past these images. And he keeps going back to the same images, except they're a little more copper, co co copper tone. But they have all the phenotypes of your typical so called Indian. You know what I'm saying? So this author, man, just, you know, loops in circles a lot, wants to try to bring us out of. You know, whatever we think is typical as these images and then says, well, here's what I think is more accurate and gives us the same damn picture of the same thing he said was a typical image. I tell you. Hijack City, man. Images, images, images. Another group of people who has migrated to this land in the past and likely arrived here in the West prior to the previous mentioned Pueblo people are those who we call Roman Jewish colonies. Here we go for the dismount. We had to come to this, right? It had to come to this. These Roman Jewish colonies. So these are people from Rome of Jewish descent in 700 AD in America, but they're from Rome, but they're in America, and they're of Jewish descent when the Jews haven't even converted yet under King Bulan until the middle of the 8th, 8th century. And so it's all happening. This conversion is all happening in the 8th century, yet they're still over here in America with an entire kingdom popping off that, that leads into the Toltec culture. So the Toltecs were really, according to them, founded by the Roman Jewish colonies, started the Toltecs. So now the so-called white folk are taking credit for the Toltecs, <laughs> the Aztec. So they're the ones that got invaded by Columbus and them. I mean, they have to stop this stuff, man. They got to quit it. And, and where are we the whole time? We All niggas is just in Africa, right? Damn. All copper color kinds, we just still in Africa. <laughs> While these white folk over here defeating the Toltecs and sparking all this stuff off, man. <laughs> oh, man. But they are the Toltec, right? Because they're the Roman Jewish colonies. All right, let's, uh, let's go, let's go. 
<laughs> hey, we've been doing this for so long. We, we're mastering the art of dodging our own eye, Jack, not the type now. So, the previous mentioned Pueblo people, before then, they said in the, are those whom we call Roman Jewish colonies, which is one of history's best kept secrets. I agree, because when you figure out that you're the pomegranaga, Remon, Remon means pomegranate in Hebrew, my naga. So Roman is stealing from the Remon, which is the pomegranate, pomegranate, which is from the pomegranata or pomegranaga. Got it. Which is one of history's best kept secrets because of these pomegranate nagas knew that they're the indigenous Americans. <sighs> there will be an entire shift in consciousness. These people likely mixed with the earlier mentioned Pueblo people, but the Roman Jewish people <laughs> arrived here in the West about 100 BC and thrived for nearly 400 years before they were defeated by the enemy known later as the Tote. Any people who even appear to look like these Pueblo people or the mixture of which are of the same DNA were for the most part vanquished, exterminated, or assimilated. These people return again to this continent in 700 AD. So they're, 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 he's marking all these things. Right? So they came in 100 BC. They came back in 700 AD. So he, he knows for sure that 800 years later, these same Roman Jews came back right, and thrived until overthrown by the Tolte and a mixture of the previous and remnant of their own near 900 AD. These people and the mixture of the former as well as those of the most ancient remnant of the Anasazi eventually became part of the Aztec. It gets confusing in these days due to all those who came to this land, mixed together, migrated together with others going in different directions and some of the original even migrating back to the old world. Well, we're in the old world and that's where he doesn't understand. It's not that confusing. You just have to honor the original then you can see how it connects to this original original people oregano flow but if you keep looking at it like some colonization the roman jewish colonies instead of saying the romani hebrew kingdom that will allow you to connect to the Presta john investigation but the Presta's is already here <laughs> in the book of swords of the east it said Preston John's over 1,200 years old. 1,200 years old. That takes him back to the B.C.s, according to them. So what Roman Jewish colony are you going to pop off on the land of the Preston? Nah. You don't want to give us the credit for these artifacts, for the true inheritance, the heritage, the history. The Remani history, the, the Nagas connected with the pomegranate or the promised land history. You want to skip over us, so you make it confusing. He said it gets very confusing with all these people mixing together. These originals didn't mix like that. These originals still pretty much look the same, you know, because at what point in time did we just abandon, you know, our own people? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just because you over here doesn't mean that we just mixed out our culture. A nigga still look like a nigga. A naga still look like a naga. These people still here. Their phenotypes are strong. These are original people. Ain't, it ain't been that long for us to be mixing with you unless you try to pull yourself in as a Roman Jew in the 700s. Ain't been that much mixing going on to wipe out what the original phenotype of these original people are in America. Look at the walls in Mexico. Look around. <laughs> Look at the arm egg heads. Come on, man. He said, at this time, I would like to remind the reader of the chapter in the treasures of Utah. We got a piece of that in the ether pertaining to the Tucson, Arizona crosses and the swords. And again, in this book at chapter five, in conclusion of the section one, I... Of the section, I will include some of the earlier 
and earliest renditions of the noble Native American Indian. Photos taken in better taste than what a majority has been done in the past. Notice the apparel worn by some, not just the turbans and robes, but other things as well, including their features and, re and reflect to the previous images. A majority of these photos are by Edward S. Curtis, whom I feel had a great respect for the Native American Indian. <laughs> but none of them, <laughs> none of them, my naga, look like the Negro, right? They're all more typical Indian looking, you know, Mongol, typical Mongol, you know, the same thing they try to do, you know, Mongol <laughs> phenotypes, the you know, modern Mongol phenotypes, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, that's what we say, man. Get up out of here with this hijack, man. Because they want to wipe us out of history completely. So, who's the originals in India? What do they look like? Who's the originals in Europe or, or Russia? What do they look like? But the originals in America can't look like the same as these other originals all across the earth plane. We got to fight for this image because without it, you don't have a place. If we become the native, who are you, right? I mean, that's what you, <laughs> so you got to fight for the lie. It don't mean that you can't love this country. It don't mean that you can't, you know, truly want the best for, for mother and mother nature and everything else, man. But hey, the motherland has to stand on the truth. Nagaville is the truth. Nagaville is being forgotten. <laughs> Just like Hawa. And of course he has this picture of this jabroni. Uh, Edward Curtis. <laughs> who he said took all these pictures. And he looked like Billy the Kid. You know, looks like some cowboy, man. So, come on, man. And next time we'll pick up right here with the Clovis... So true in connection. S O L U T R E A N. Solutrian. The Clovis fluted point was first found and recognized in 1929 and named for the site in which it was found Clovis, New Mexico. The Clovis, the Clovis is associated with what science calls the Clovis culture and they date them. They date them at 13,500 years. Attributed to what they call the Paleo Indian. <laughs> All right. We're getting closer, right? Paleo Hebrew, Paleo Indian. I sometimes wonder how the archaeologists of that day got from one day <laughs> to the next. We know that the people who are responsible for these artifacts cannot possibly have been here 13,500 years ago by reasons covered in the book. Nephi North concerning the radio metric guessing game and the reliability of it and other reasons found in other sections of the book supporting my young earth belief. Well, that's because he's looking into a whole nother half of group, a whole nother phenotype. So we think Clovis original people, we think us. They think these jabronis in the picture, these typical images. So when they go and they start to you know, cross-reference with those people, they don't fit. They can't connect to no 13,000 years here. All them pictures he just showed, none of them could connect to 13,000 years ago in America. Ain't no genealogy connecting you with 13,000 years ago in America. We talking originals. But, he said, we know that the people who are responsible for these artifacts could not have been here 13,000 years ago because he has a whole other people in mind. He got a whole other target audience <laughs> when it comes to that. He's not connected it with the original Nagas in Nagaville. So-called black people. You ain't connected it with us. You're connected it with, you know, this amalgamation, man, that you want to call original American. Got these people thinking that they are truly original. <laughs> that the so-called black American comes from them, right? No, nah, they know we don't. So they got to push us into Africa to have a whole nother originality, right? 
but we say we're from here, then we have to say, well, whose phenotype is more original here? <laughs> That's undisputable. That's why you got to push us out of here. So everyone ends up working together, even though they say they hate the white man, but they still working with the white man, with the white man's images to not give you your original place, your original heritage. Everyone's playing a part. Everyone's getting something out of this. Look around South America. Who are the originals? Venezuela, who's the original? Fiji, who's the original? I do this for the originals, man. I don't care what y'all think about. I spend all day talking about me, talking about us. I got to love me. I got to give me some I love me time. You got some covetous in your heart for that? Don't be jealous of us now because we are giving some I love me time, Ahab time. Who's the originals? Mexico, who's the originals? Costa Rica, who's the original? Puerto Rico, who's the original? Honduras, who's the original? Ecuador, who's the original? Peru, who's the original? Stop playing. Stop playing with Hawaii. Stop playing with yourself. Because we ain't on no play play. <laughs> 13,000 years ago, only the originals can connect to something like that. Not their radio metric guessing game. He says, so we, we are left to look at the evidence from a different perspective as we know the people responsible arrived here around 600 people. You don't know nothing as we know. That's what I got an issue with these authors as we know. You, you, got, you don't know nothing about chronology, man. They arrived here 600 BC. Who? The people responsible for the artifacts. Who's that? The Clovis people. You mean the first Americans? But you gave them a whole other half of group, a whole other phenotype, a whole other image. So therefore your research is limited to the people responsible arrived here around 600 BC. What people responsible? Not these black folk, right? Not these copper color folk, right? We from Africa, right? That's why your recon is limited, man. You ain't seeing Nagaville clearly. Too much pride in your heart. Too much covetous in your heart. There are only two significant groups of people who came to this land if you exclude the modern day Gentile. Wow. Well, someone's seeing a part of the, a piece of the puzzle. <laughs> I got to get that again. There are only two significant groups of people who came to this land. <laughs> You already know he's going to go way off. You already know he's off, right? Because he just narrowed it down to two significant groups of people who came to America. Because nobody's original here. Everybody came here, right? Only two significant groups of people who came to America. If you exclude the modern day Gentile. So keep the Jew. Should we keep the Roman Jew? <laughs> not Judah. Not Yehuda, right? Not the actual Judah. Which are these, you know, a good, a good chunk of these so-called blacks, these so-called black folk. But so is Simeon and Reuben. You know, they all are a close, tight family. They are the same original phenotype. They're the same original people. Reuben doesn't look drastically different than Simeon. Simeon doesn't look drastically different than uh, Neptali. Neptali doesn't look drastically different than Gad. Gad doesn't look drastically different than Benjamin. These are brothers from the same father. Most of these biblical tribes, even these 
you know, tribes of, of Midianites and all these other, they're still the same phenotype. It's still Nagaville. You meet a so-called black woman today, she could be a Midianite, an Ammonite, a Jebusite, an Ishmaelite. She looks like all of them. That brother looks like all of them, not just he must be Judah, he must be Israelite, he must be uh, African. Like, no, nah, he looks like all of them. They're the same original flow, same original connection. This is very important because this is about originality. Without these originals, you have nothing. Without you, likely, we have everything. That's the difference between us and you. Without us, you have nothing. Think about it. What do you have without these original Nagas? Without our magic, without our power, our frequency. Hell, this, this kingdom even needed slaves, right? <laughs> Hey, what's a kingdom without it without its servants? So even at the bottom, you still needed us. And used us to create your entire world. All your architecture, all your mathematics, all your high sciences. Reverse engineered from our high-tech civilizations. What do we have without you? Well, a kingdom. Freedom, peace, true shalom. So, Hawa didn't, you know, put this so that we are have any type of confusion here. <laughs> Originals have freedom without you, but you have nothing without the original. That's the moral to the story. He said there are only two significant groups of people if we exclude the modern day Gentile. One whose arrival was about 2400 BC and the latter of 600 BC. What about 4000 BC? You can't connect that because you're not even using the Naga to connect anything. You're just using modern day haplogroups, modern day uh, Inuits and Eskimos. Your Clovis people connect to the Inuit Eskimo DNA. You ain't even testing the actual Hebrews, the actual Hebrews, the actual Judah. You're not even looking our direction, right? Because we're all just from Africa. Hocus pocus, man. These people play. <laughs> we want to talk about magicians. They're constantly casting spells and doing their magic to erase the real original Nagas and let this first pop off of this Forbidden Histories be about redeeming the original Nagas. And if you never heard it here or anywhere else, we do it for the original Nagas. We do it for you that's listening in right now because we need a home. <laughs> we need a home, man. We... We rock with everybody. We love everybody. We got all we got all phenotypes in our family. We got all that. But there's an awareness that comes to what's original. Having variations of phenotypes, you can still have Ahab and have Ahab in your family and Ahab on Ahab on Ahab. We encourage you to have Ahab. That's a part of our code, you know. But first, it starts with us having Ahab with our creator and putting no power before our power. Because the main issue with mixing with anyone is the God they serve. And that most of the time, you know, by us mixing with other nations, we had to mix with their gods, their powers. It wasn't about the phenotype. Hawa can turn any phenotype back to the original. That's not an issue. But Hawa can't turn you back to you if you're going after another power because you're going after another nation's power. That's the issue with mixing more than anything else. Not because, oh, your blackness is getting mixed out. Hawaii always can restore the copper color melanated naga 
But can he restore your soul when you choose a different power? A different daddy? And a different ama? Now you make a contract with another power, a wise out of that. You made that deal. You made that deal. So that's why, you know, the originality mainly went back to the original code. And originality will always start with the code. And if you want to be original again, or if, you, if, you, if you're on the outside looking in, and you want to be on the inside, my naga, keep the code and keep that covenant out your heart. That's part of the code. And build the original nagas and do it for the originality of things. Help restore these nagas to their original positions. Not for your own sake, not for your own well-being, not so you can come up, but because you know it's the right thing to do, it's the true thing to do, and you love the creator, and you love what the creator has created originally. You see the original vision. You don't want to brush that over with your new new. <laughs> it's a Milton pot now. Oh, why I don't care about it's a Milton pot now? What happened to Atlantis? What happened to Atlantis? Why I don't care about that? What code are you keeping? With the original code comes the restoration of the original Naga. This has been the premiere of, the, of our forbidden. It shouldn't be forbidden no more. It's hard to say the forbidden histories. I mean, shit. This is our reality. Their forbidden history. Who made it forbidden? Who forbid the truth? Who forbade the truth, my naga? So this is, you know, this is all about our history. This is the premiere of our history. <laughs> Out the book, Forbidden Histories of America by Daniel Lowe. But ain't nothing about us forbidden, man. We keep the code. The truth comes out. The Nagas return. We return, seek Hawa and Kandav, Dawi, King David. The press the flow. The original flow. The Melchizedek, priest king, flow. We have returned. Our high technology is within us. We have returned. Our source is flowing within us. We have returned. Believe in yourself. You are the head and not the tail. You're the originators. You connect with the original frequency. Allow. Wow. Keep the code and keep surfing the wave. My original one.